In this video, I'm going to make some simple floating shelves using no specialist hardware or fixings. I'm just going to use scraps of wood that I have in the workshop already. I had some offcuts of 12 mm MDF that I'm going to use to make the shelves. I chose MDF because it's great for painting and we want to paint these shelves to match the walls of our living room so that they blend in. I started by trimming off some of the edges of the table saw to give me three pieces of MDF that were 30 centimeters square. I then found a piece of solid wood I could use to make some cleats, which will be attached to the wall to support the shelf. And I found a piece of pine from an old bed frame. This will be fine. I set the distance between the table saw fence and the blade to the exact thickness of the 12 mm MDF that I'm using, making sure that the blade just caught as I pushed the piece through. I then ripped a piece of the pine to that measurement, then I could rotate and run it through again so that the cleats would be square. I arranged the three pieces of MDF so that I could see if the cleats would slot in between them okay, and they did. I was looking for a snug fit here, but with a tiny amount of play, and this looked perfect. Next I took one of the three pieces of MDF, and I held the cleat flush with the edge and marked up a line. Then I rotated by 90 degrees and did the same again. And the areas that I'm shading here are the waste areas which will get cut away. I then set my table saw fence so that the blade lined up with that mark and I wanted this to be as accurate as I could get it so I aired on the side of caution at first and then crept up on the cut by moving the fence a tiny amount until it was just right. I did a quick test fit to make sure that the cleats fitted in flush with the edges of MDF and all looked good. Next I could laminate the three pieces of MDF together, so I applied glue to both sides of the smaller piece of MDF which will be in the centre and sandwiched it in between the two larger pieces and positioned so that the edges of all three pieces were flush on two sides. I found some brad nails long enough to go through all three layers of MDF and added a few using my cordless nailer to keep everything correctly in position. It can be a little tricky to get this right because the pieces want to slide around on the glue as soon as you apply any pressure. I then added some weight and left it for the glue to set. While I was waiting for that I could push the cleats in position and mark them up for length. I made the cuts at the mitre saw. And then I did the same again for the next cleat, but this time butting it up to the first cleat before marking and making the cut. I wanted to cut a curve to the front corner of the shelves and I marked that up by adding a nail to the back corner and using a piece of string to draw an arc. Usually I'd use my large beam compass for this, but most of my tools are still packed away and this works fine. I cut that curve out at the bandsaw. And then I sanded the edges using 100 grit sandpaper by hand because again, most of my tools are packed away. I didn't really like the way that this curve looked, so I decided to mark up another curve, this time one which swept across the whole shelf from one side to the other, and that looked much better, so I cut that out of the bandsaw and sanded again. And then I sanded again, but this time at 240 grit, just to get the MDF edges as smooth as possible. I also eased over the sharp edges of the MDF a little to make them nicer to the touch. Next I could install the shelves and they're going to be positioned quite high up the wall. I then used my spirit level to mark up a horizontal line on both walls where I could position the cleats. I drilled a couple of holes in the cleats using a 6mm brad point bit. I could then offer up the cleats to the lines that I'd marked up, holding them firmly in place and using a 6mm masonry drill bit to mark up where to drill the holes. I drilled them to the depth I wanted using the hammer setting on my combi drill. Yeah. 
I then added some red roll plugs and screwed the cleats in place. and then I could slide the shelf onto my cleats. My shelves didn't fit in place perfectly against the wall and that's because when plasterers apply plaster to the walls it's difficult for them to get the corners of the room perfectly square and accurate but it doesn't really matter because the shelf is in good contact with the cleats and these gaps are easily fillable which I'll do later. To secure the shelf to the cleats there were a few options. I could have simply used wood glue to glue them in place but the downside of that is that if I ever want to remove the shelves I'll need to pretty much demolish them and that's going to make a bit of a mess of my walls. So what I opted to do is to just drill a pilot hole and add a screw through the shelf into the cleats which will lock everything in place securely. This could be done either from the top side downwards or the bottom side upwards. I chose to do it through the top because my shelves are high up, above head height, so the screws aren't going to be visible up there. I'm using some white decorator's caulk to close any gaps between the shelf and the wall. I smooth this over with a wet finger and wait for it to dry, and this stuff is fully paintable. Then I gave the shelf a coat of the same paint I used to paint the walls with. The paint I'm using here is by Dulux, it's called Chic Shadow and it's in a silk finish. It might have been a good idea to use a primer first but I didn't have any at the time so I didn't bother. One of my cleats protruded a little beyond the edge of the shelf, again as a result of the plaster on the walls not being perfectly square in the corner of the room. So I came back with a sharp chisel to trim the end grain of the pine flush with the shelf. In hindsight I would have cut these cleats shorter to compensate for the corners of the room not being quite right, but you live and learn. I also used some all purpose filler to fill any gaps and once that was dry I sanded it back with 100 grit. The MDF edges soak up the paint really quickly as you can see from this shot. All that's needed though is a little sanding using 400 grit to smooth it over and I did that to the whole shelf too just to denib everything and get it nice and smooth and then I could add a second coat of the paint. That looked much better but I did end up doing a third coat of paint to the edges just to get really good coverage and then they looked great. When we moved in here not too long ago there were some pine shelves up in the corner of this room and I popped one of our spider plants up there which has all these drapey leaves and it looked really cool but the shelf that was there before was an orangey pine shelf on some old fashioned iron shelf brackets so I wanted to replace them with something a little more modern and for the shelves to match the colour of the walls so that the plants themselves are the focal point. In future I think I might add a final top coat of varnish just to make the shelf more resistant to moisture for when I water the plants. But for the time being I'll just be extra careful not to spill anything. That's the project done and it only took a couple of hours and I made two of these shelves. I'm pleased with how they turned out and it was a nice break from house renovations and setting up the new workshop. It was nice just to make something again and this quick and simple project was just what I needed. I hope you enjoyed the video, please subscribe for more weekly woodworking videos. You can also support the channel via Patreon and receive early access to my videos, free access to cut lists and plans, some exclusive content and a name credit at the end of my videos. Thanks for watching.